Hello, everyone, dear friends. Today we are going to build very unusual houses, and they must also be protected. Everyone will build a house, and then we will evaluate who has what the best. And I say right away, you need to play on. Only the best will be built. Okay, Dad, so we're just going to build the best. I'm going to build a house that will make everyone jealous, and the main rule is that it has to be protected, so we'll have to figure out what kind of protection to get. I got the same one. Great! I'll be starting my own house then. It will be different from the others in that I will build it under my own light. If I have the color pink, then my house will also consist of pink. It will be made of like this. To me, or what is it called? It turns out to be dyed clay. That's what my house will be made of. I also need to make walls here. What my house will be unusual for is probably purely the exterior. So it will be more square. And that's quite usual. I understand. I do not want to give it any unusual shape. I'd rather make it just colorful and beautiful. There's also something unusual like a pink house with pink windows. Also protection. I'm going to have a spider web here. This is if someone wants to sneak close to me or to my house, they will just stick and very long from there. Isaiah will already notice someone coming here, and I think this defense is even quite effective. Okay, now it's my turn to build a house. I chose a place near this ravine. I think it will be cool if my house comes out of it. It will be made of quartz. It will be white. This stone... It looks very unusual, and the house, as you finish building from it, always the house looks super modern and super fresh. It's just the best solution for building a house. What's going to be the point of this house is that it's going to be long, it's going to protrude straight out from this house. Of course, there's not a lot of protection in that. If your house is conspicuous, it's much worse if it's hidden. But to us, build unusual and beautiful houses. So I'm going to do this one first and I'm going to give it a good defense. You bet, I think it's the best idea. It will cover it with lava white stone glory perfectly. Although I think it will be a little hot sitting in this house. I will probably want to go outside for fresh air all the time, but I don't know, we'll see. Now my time has come to build a house, and I can say that I have already what only houses have not built a variety of different, but such I have certainly never done. He what will surprise, so it is its size, namely the height of it will be very high and will create just unreal space when we will be inside, and if someone will go in, he will see an incredibly high ceiling, but at the same time, the house itself will be small. It's a great solution for something that has to be quite secure, so I'm using a material like emerald for protection. Although I think sooner or later the villagers of the Mini will just trash this house. As you can see from the defenses, I will be using spikes. I think they will be the best for me to put the best defense on my territory. I'm also going to set hidden traps. Someone's going to come along and will notice, fail and step on. And I will also have a huge green glass under the light of the emeralds. Who should win the most unusual house today is definitely me. I'm going to have the most unusual house, and I'm going to make it out of plain yellow sands. But no, there's nothing plain about it. It's a very strange material, and very unusual. I'm going to have it coming straight out. It means that it will be my additional defense, because I need to get into the water to sneak up somehow. It already creates some problems, but we, it will consist in another from the fact that here will be scattered different varnish blocks. But they are not completely different. They will all be unlucky. That is, those who will break them, they will constantly fail. So whoever wants to invade my house, and he will definitely want to break a couple of paint blocks, and he will have something very scary waiting for him. I hope not a dynamite flow, because it will hit my house then too, and I wouldn't want that. You see, here I'm using another one of these yellow blocks, very nice. I like it. Welcome to my most incredible house that I've ever built. And first of all, it's beautiful. You just look at this stylish window. It's unbelievably beautiful. And welcome to the inside of the house. Everything is pink and soft and the house and protected by cobwebs. I hope you can see that. And now I'm going to put the beds in here. Check out my house. 
Your house looks very beautiful. I like it a lot. Those colors combine just perfect and fit you just right. And the fact that you made the web is very unusual. I like this house too. It's very beautiful. You did a great job building it and the cobwebs fit here just right. But let's move on to the next house. Finally, it's my turn to assess my house. You see right behind me some lava and immediately think that this is probably just some source of lava. But no, I want to assure you, this is my unusual protected house and it right in the gorge. It's so interesting. It's decorated here. We can sleep and basically still have lava dripping from the ceiling. It's something I've underdone. But even, you know, sometimes it's nice to have a drop on your forehead while you're sleeping but you won't sleep for long. I certainly like your house and well protected by the lava. Not many people who can fit such a thing, but it actually looks quite usual. It is already a very hackneyed design and we have seen it so many times. This is the kind of house you've never seen before. I have for your attention my incredible tower house. Look how long it is and also notice its incredible color. It's the same and freeze ice. It's a green color, just with a very rich, such a high roof. Just look, this window is gorgeous. You can enjoy life here, sleep and live and look out over the forest. You can also see, of course, the forest. A little bit there, the river is very beautiful. Wow, that's what protects your house, Spikes. No one can get near it if they even want to steal a couple emeralds from you to trade with the residents. All right, you got it. Good for you. Now that's a really cool house. I like the feeling of being there. When you're inside the outside, it's kind of not as cool, but inside. That's a very interesting place to be and live in. I knew I'd take first place today for most unusual house. I had to work really hard to come up with just such a house. It's a lucky house. Look how unusual it is. The most unusual shape. It's in the water. That's what it is. That's its thing. And it's also very yellow. Just like my sweater. Just look. Inside the windows are very oddly shaped. And I would call it just an abstract technique. And then there's like this fenced in. And there's also lacquer blocks. Yes, you honestly take one place for the most unusual house. You just look at how it looks. There is also lakey blocks. Very amazing house. I like it. If someone breaks the chick blocks, it'll protect the house. It's a cool house. Here we go. That's the battle we've got today, folks. I hope you each put a like. You like this video must also subscribe to the channel. Put a bell with you was a family of Piggy, Peppa, and Nato. Check out our other videos. Be sure to this one right here is very important. Everyone see you later and everyone, of course, bye, 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 bye.